Welcome back to the High Yield Video Question Bank series, where I give you challenging practice questions to help train your brain to think like a test writer, so that when you sit for USMLE or Comlex, you already have developed the patterns of thinking that you need in order to pick up free points on test day. Today's question, a patient is diagnosed with thyroid cancer. Genetic testing reveals gain of function of a receptor tyrosine kinase gene product. The patient's past medical history is pertinent for traumatic brain injury and extensive dental work. Which of the following oncogenes is associated with this presentation? A. ALK B. RET C. C. MIC D. C. KIT or E. BRAF Now pause the video if you need some time to think about this. And let's go ahead and see the correct answer. So the correct answer to this question is choice B, RET. Now I've highlighted for you in the question what, what the important piece of information that you need to focus on is. So I tell you that the gene product that comes from this oncogene is a receptor tyrosine kinase, which means that when you're answering this question, you need to look down your answer choices and ask yourself which one of these oncogenes codes for a product that's a receptor tyrosine kinase. Now there are only two answer choices that are even a receptor tyrosine kinase. And then of those two, you need to know which one is associated with a type of thyroid cancer. Okay, so the correct answer here is choice B, but just in case you didn't know that RET was associated with its medullary thyroid cancer, but let's just say in general, you didn't know that RET was associated with thyroid cancer, and maybe you didn't even know that it's a receptor tyrosine kinase, could you maybe eliminate incorrect answer choices based on information you know about those other possible answer choices? So let's go down and look at these things. So choice A is the other answer choice that's also a receptor tyrosine kinase. And this one is associated with lung adenocarcinoma. So again, in this theoretical world where maybe you're taking this on your test and you don't know anything about RET for choice B, but perhaps you know that ALK is associated with lung adenocarcinoma, you would be taking this question and you would say, well, I, I, I know that choice A, ALK, is associated with lung cancer. I don't think it's associated with thyroid cancer. So maybe you don't know that it's a receptor tyrosine kinase, but you certainly know that it's definitely not associated with thyroid cancer. You could have eliminated choice A. Choice C, C-MIC, that gene product is a transcription factor and it's associated with Burkitt lymphoma. So again, when you're taking this, this question, there are two ways you could have eliminated choice C. The first is by saying it's a transcription factor, it's not a receptor tyrosine kinase, so you could have eliminated CMIC on that basis. Or you could have said um, it's associated with Burkitt lymphoma. I don't know if it's a receptor tyrosine kinase or not, but it's Burkitt lymphoma, it's not thyroid cancer. And so you could have eliminated it on that basis. Choice D, C kit, this is a cytokine receptor. It's not a receptor tyrosine kinase, so you could have eliminated C-kit based on that. Or you could have known that it's associated with gastrointestinal stromal tumor, or GIST, and again, that's not thyroid cancer. So again, two possibilities here to eliminate choice D. And then lastly for choice E, uh, choice E BRAF, that's a serine threonine kinase, okay? And while that is associated with a type of thyroid cancer, in this case, papillary, um, and also associated with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and melanoma, you, purely, you, you really need to know that BRAF is a serine threonine kinase, and it's not a receptor tyrosine kinase. And so on that basis, you would eliminate that answer choice. 